Alexei Tedesco. This is a recipe that I'm actually looking forward <laughs> to learning how to do because he's going to teach us how to do smoking at home without any big set of fuss or, or bother. Right. So Jason, why don't you go right into explaining how you smoke anything at home, whether it's meat or, or cheese or whatever. Well, fish, chicken, pork, anything that you fancy. Uh, today I'm going to be using duck. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a very, very, very simple smoking method that I'm going to be doing. Um, inside of this bowl, I actually have some guava wood, mm -hmm. some hickory chips, a little bit of bay leaves. I also have some cinnamon leaves inside here. Oh, cinnamon leaves? Cinnamon okay. leaves, the dry cinnamon leaves. And um, in my pantry, I mm -hmm. actually had some cinnamon bark. Okay. So all this is going to especially give a lot of permeation to whatever mm -hmm. I'm going to be smoking. I also have some ground coffee. Yes. I'm going to add inside here. The coffee is going to give whatever you're smoking, especially the duck that I'm going to be smoking today, a lot of depth. And you're going to smell it in the end. You're going to taste coffee in it? Very, very subtle. Okay. And I have some rice. Mm -hmm. Raw rice, that is. The rice, why rice? The rice actually helps to hold the heat while smoking. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just mix that up like that. Mm. And I'm going to add some water. Now, what's the water for, Jason? Well... As I told you, we're smoking. We're not actually cooking with any intensive heat. Yeah, so there's no actual fire, no coals, exactly. nothing like that. So I need to get these ingredients a little wet because I don't want any ignitation to take place. So Jason, what do we do now? What's the next step? All right, so what I would love for you to actually do is bring across this pan. Okay, this is, this is the base. It's just a, a, a deep pan. And um, so just an ordinary shaping pan, mm -hmm. deep shaping pan, and I have some foil inside of it. Okay. Because when the heat hits it, I don't want it to burn. Hence the reason why I put the foil. And this needs to be spread around in there. A little bit, correct. I actually have a spoon right here. And you want to evenly spread it oh, out. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> I mean, hickory wood is very good. Maple wood, mesquite, all these things. Whatever the type of wood. No plywood, huh? Yes. No high pressure. No plywood, right? <laughs> No plywood. Okay. Any sort of lumber that's actually pressure treated. Trust me, to come up with that. <laughs> it's poisonous. <Pony joke. laughs> so what I want to do now is actually help me put some foil on top of this because we're going to put okay. this on the stove. All right, we're going to put this on the fire to get it going, to get it to start its smoking. Is that right? Correct, sir. And I'm going to put it on the burner. I'm put it over here. here. We're going to turn on both. Beautiful. So that's going to probably take like about five, six minutes. To you put them on a high flame or low flame? Put it on a high flame and then I'm going to turn it down to a low flame. Okay, okay. good. All right. And then what's the next step? So the next step is, of course, we're going to be smoking duck. Mm -hmm. So I have one duck brush right here. Mm -hmm. And I have some black peppercorns and salt. Could you put some of that on it for me? Yes, sure. With pleasure. Rub it on nicely. This is just a nice duck breast that I actually scored the fat on it. It's very, very important because you want to render out the fat from the duck fat. Very, mm -hmm. very important. Because if you were to put this inside of the smoker like that, the fat will actually trickle down onto the wood and you will have flames. Okay. Which is what we don't want. So I put it on both sides and... Exactly. And then I made a spice rub earlier on. Okay, so what's in your spice rub? I have brown sugar, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. My hand's already in it. Shall I turn it over for you? Exactly. Uh, cinnamon, anise Oh, that smells good. I'm smelling the anise. Fennel, and I had some fresh thyme on top of it. And you oh. want to pat it on nicely. Oh, that looks great. You want to get a pat on the stove? Yeah, sure. And we're going to actually... Let me just rinse my hands quickly. Off. A lot of my chef friends say you definitely went starting to render off duck fat. Start in a cold pan. Fatty meat. I actually took the liberty of actually doing some earlier on. Mm -hmm. So I actually rendered these out and I got a nice crust on the outside. You want to give us a little peek on how that's looking on one yes. side? Beginning Ooh, to look, get look really nice. a nice color. Look at the amount of fat that has Tilt come that. Look there. at that viewers. Look at I the mean, amount of fat that's there. Look already. at that. And we started off with like 10 drops of oil. Eh? All Ooh, right. But it does look attractive. It does. It now, really if you does. were to just put that duck inside of the smoker like that, what would happen is that the duck fat would not be crispy. And texture, again, is very, very important when we eat. Let's take this away. Ooh, yes. Bring across this. Ooh, it's hot, boy. Yep. Bring it across. No, don't open it yet. We want to keep that. That smoke is prized okay. smoke. Bring the perforated pan across. Ooh, yes. Let's get a look at that. Wow. Looks beautiful, huh? And then we're going to okay. put our duck breast inside like that. Now, obviously, this is huge. If you had about 12, 15 ducks, it would fit really nice. All right, we're going to put that back on. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me just crimp it here. We need to keep the smoke trapped. Very important. 
How's it look? Really nice. All right, that's awesome. down low. That's down low. And how long does this have to go for, Jason? I would estimate for that period of time, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You'd be surprised. Okay. In 10 minutes, succulent duck. Okay. Um, so what's next? What's the next step? Shall I go on and do the spinach for you? Yes, we're going to make a spinach puree today okay. to, to form the base of under our duck. And um, this Beautiful is ordinary, pot. simple spinach. I'm going to put on the fire here for you. Just a touch of oil. All right, let me hold that there for you. There we go. There you go. Just turn it around a little bit. Okay. Good job. Look at that. It's gone right down to half already. And I'm going to add a little bit of stock. This is ordinary vegetable stock. Okay, you can use any stock you want, right? Any one that fancies you. Take it out. Yeah. Put it inside there. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and stock. And I would like for you to process this for me. I'm hearing a snap, crackle, pop going well, on That's in good there. stuff. Snap, crackle, pop. Thank you. Okay, folks, I make a little bit of noise here. You need it into a complete puree? Complete puree. Go, go, go. Yeah, we look good. Let's take a look. Let's have a look. See. Oh, oh yeah, looks nice. That's looking pretty good. Beautiful. So, so, keep that to the side. Well, I actually took the liberty of making one earlier on, which is a pumpkin puree. It was the same concept. I There's roasted the pumpkin. I had here for you. I roasted the pumpkin with a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg and some oil in the oil in the oven, yeah. and I just pureed it. A and little we actually bit. use the chopper to make this into a puree as well. So here's our pumpkin puree, and we have our spinach puree. Mm -hmm. So this is going to go on the base of our plate. Okay. All right. So. Uh, let's, what's the next right, component? I'm going to just move this to the side. Let's do our, let's and do our veg. vegetables. Let's now, do our yes. vegetables. All right. Nice little saute pan. I had this pan here ready. A little touch of oil. Add a little bit of garlic inside there. Oh, look at that. Really nice, huh? Mm -hmm. um, green peppers. Yellow peppers. Some purple onion some asparagus, a little bit of salt again, a little bit of black pepper. Oh, that's looking and good. You see the nice glaze on it, right? It's starting Beautiful. to look good. So I would actually suggest we take this out now because every time you take our vegetables, especially when it comes like that, it has a lot of residue or heat inside. Yeah, it. it's going to go on cooking. So we're going to put them into this little bowl. Wonderful. Nice crunched it. And let's get it back on the heat and let's do our potatoes one time. OK, there we go. Now, traditionally, when doing duck, we always save the fat to do potatoes. Some fingerling potatoes and Okinawa potatoes, which you could get in the market very yeah. easily. They're I've, actually par cooked. I've seen these all over the place. These actually, you boil these for a little bit, haven't you? Correct. Yeah, boy, looking good. A little bit of time. Uh huh. <laughs> and a little bit of salt. I mean, look how quickly this was. I mean, we have our vegetables done, our potatoes are nearly done, the spinach, the puree, and our duck is on the way. So. so I don't think we have long to wait and um, then we're going to take a break and come right back and we're going to start plating things up.